What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we have the PowerShot G7X Mark III. So we've been looking at this camera for quite some time. I remember a couple years ago, I wanted to pick up the Mark II because it was like a, like a, so like, yeah, I was saying, uh, this was a very well-known camera throughout the YouTube community and it was perfect for vloggers and everybody that was shot like a beginner video, I guess. So I picked this, the Mark III on Best Buy uh, yesterday for seven forty nine, uh, the total came out to eight, eight hundred around eight hundred I believe, with taxes and everything like that. But I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. From now on, all the videos and uh, everything else I post will probably come from this camera, unless uh, stated otherwise. But that will be like a video test for you guys. But I can also do one as well. So let's get the unboxing real quick and my first impressions. So, okay, so we have a little tab right here. And we have, oh, this is the receipt, gonna keep that. I believe this is like the, the warranty, kind of the warranty. Put that to the side. Comes with, uh, I guess, Canon services you can, you get now. Your getting started guide. Your registration, this is Canada only, this is to register your Canon product. Typically I don't do that, but with the price of this, I might actually just do it. So there we have your charging, um, battery charging thing. Let's put your battery. I believe this is type C charging through the cable, so I might just do that. This is the actual battery itself. Right here. And I believe this is like a wrist strap. Yeah, this is just like a nice little wrist strap you get with it. Um, safety instructions. So I'll save these instructions. Okay, the room. It does not fit. Okay, so the shape of the plug doesn't fit. Just don't plug it into the wall. And we got the actual camera itself. It's a pretty nice looking camera. I don't know much about the controls or anything like that, but we will learn. Um, let's see. So this is where I'm assuming the battery will go in. So it's locked right now. Yeah, so let me just, first let me look at the instructions because I do not want to mess this bad boy up already, even before. So, let's put it right here. Uh, getting started, English. I'll probably just edit this crap out. So, attaching the strap. Attach the included strap to the strap mount, which is on the right, right here on the right side of the camera. Simply by looping it like this. So. So you loop it in and I'm going to keep it from, or just loop it around itself is what it says. So you can attach the strap from the left to right, which is pretty convenient. And there we go. That is in case you are flimsy like me and uh, are scared of dropping it. So you can pop that in there. Let's put this bad boy right here. Oh, 
Oh gosh, this is gonna be bad. I keep forgetting the losing the page. So insert the battery pack in the charger. So I'm pretty sure that the positive and negatives. This is a positive, this is a negative. So it just literally just goes like that. So when it goes in like that, you're basically set. Um, so yeah, it'll say, uh, lamp colors, uh, charging is orange and fully charged is green basically. And then once you remove it, you get the SD card. So I will probably get this started to charge and then I will let you guys see it on the startup. So I have charged the camera now and I have been using it for a couple days. Sorry, I uh, kind of skipped the whole thing, but um, let me just show you. Uh, all the settings have been basically uh, kept to its, uh, whatever the, the regular settings are like I didn't change much I just basically change it to 1080p and I changed the FPS and video recording to 60 FPS but I don't know if you guys can tell but other than that you kind of have like a menu option right here where you can uh, do all that that I mentioned you can choose the movie quality the self timer this is basically everything you're gonna mess around with your white balance autofocus everything like that is gonna be right here in these uh, menu and you basically uh, customize it to your own liking and if like me you mess up sometimes and uh, You have to reset it. You just basically go to this tab right here and reset it, but I haven't been using it long enough to Give my final thoughts and opinions on it um, Some things that I did notice is that the autofocus does suffer sometimes when trying to autofocus on something specifically but that was a well-known issue with the g7 but uh, from now on, probably the majority of the videos will be recorded through this camera and you guys can check the camera quality and judge it for yourselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing of the G7 Mark III.